Then I met a young boy who had Dio Jean Ox, also known as DJ, is a multi award winning hip hop artist. In late 2009, he was involved in a car accident that sent shockwaves throughout Namibia. Two rising stars, R&B singer Roger and hip hop producer Eclipse, lost their lives in the accident. Um, the accident was around 2009. I'm just not sure exactly which month it was. Could have been August, September. And um, we actually had a show in um, Rundu. We had a show with um, GMP. It was me, Roger, Eclipse, the whole GMP crew. Basically what happened, the show finished around 4 or 5 a.m. So instead of basically sleeping over, we decided we need to go back to Vinto. Um, we actually had two vehicles that day. It was just artists, basically. Artists and our manager and our um, video director was also within the car. So it was mostly just the whole record label, basically. We were with the whole GMP team. And the only outsider was Eclipse, basically. He was Roger's backup artist, so he was also on the trip. Everything was okay. Like, on the way back, everything was okay. I guess we were just sleeping, tired from the show, because it was around 5, 6, 7, 8 in the morning, so we were basically just tired. Everything was just normal, you know? One minute we're happy, taking pictures in the car, and then the accident took place. It was just right before we reached Ochivarango. It was between Otavi and Ochivarango. What I saw was because I was sitting in the middle. So basically what all I saw was a vehicle that was basically in our lane. It was busy overtaking another car and then we tried to dodge it. And, and then we went off road and then that's basically when the car started flipping now. I was paralyzed basically, there was nothing I could do. I just remember screaming before, running head on head with another car. Luckily we swerved off and then Next thing, I was thrown out. Everybody else was in the car. I was thrown out. So I was just lying in between grass, and then I made a phone call. I'm not sure who I called. It was either one of the street kids or I called Gaza. I'm not sure exactly who it was, because they were in a vehicle that was like 20 minutes ahead of us. I think they were in Ochivarango already at that time. I was just paralyzed, because I had a broken neck. My back was broken, scratches all over. So I was helpless. I couldn't really do much. I actually didn't. I thought I was alone because I didn't see the rest of the guys. It was just me within the ambulance. Our manager, Zox, was already left. He had a broken foot. He already went off with a different ambulance. I was actually conscious. I was very conscious. I was just in pain. But then there was really nothing I could do. I was just there begging for drugs and injection to kill the pain. Yeah. A cousin of mine actually said, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but your friends are dead. That's, that's, that's when I found out, actually. I was like, ah, stop joking, how? I mean, here I am, so what do you mean they're dead? We're all in the same car accident, you understand? So I'm just happy that I got the right kind of help or else I probably would have been deformed or be walking some kind of weird way by now. So everything was just, my neck is back to 100%, my back. A lot of people thought I also passed away because some false information went out also, saying everybody died, so, but, the, the fans were really supportive, man. It's just to know people people care about you besides your music, you understand? People are there for your well-being and stuff like that. That was, it, it, meant, a, it meant a lot to me, man. That accident basically just taught me to be, to be careful, to not take chances. I'm, I'm very cautious, con cautious about the car that I get into and the driver. You understand? So, for example, even if I travel to Wolfish Bay and I would have to take a seven-seater, I will make sure that we're basically driving the speed that we're supposed to drive. I'll make sure that the driver is not somebody who was tired from last night or, or who has been drinking. You understand? It's just, I'm very cautious, especially now that I have kids, I'm very cautious about the moves that I make and the way I move also. That's actually one of the things that I realized. Like, well, because I always thought like I'm, I'm gonna die when I'm 80 or 90. You understand? But then I, that taught me like, you know what? You can go any second. So be careful. You understand? Spend your time wisely on this planet that you, you know, that you were given. Make sure you fulfill those things that you are supposed to and all that. I guess the number one reason is most of us are always in a rush. Also, that's 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 the number one um, reason for accidents as well. Either you were in a rush, or you were tired, or I would basically just advise everybody to just be careful out there. You understand? You never know when 
your day comes. So try to take things easy out there. Well, actually, I never really got to thank the people that that were there throughout this whole accident, throughout this whole journey that I've been living on. And this is actually the first time that I actually got to tell the story live. So I would actually like to thank those people, you know, people who came and supported me in the hospital, all the doctors, all the nurses, all the psychologists, all the, hey man, I had a whole, the police officers, you know, I met so many kind-hearted people. I would like to thank all those people and the people on the road, I would also tell them, yo, just be careful, man. Just be careful, man. I mean, first, like, nobody was pushing R&B like Roger, and there was no producer out there like Eclipse, you understand? So these two guys were very good at what they were doing. I just feel like, I feel like our music industry would have been, because these Okay, first of all, Eclipse, you understand? This guy was carrying a lot of artists. Not just, not just Roger, not just me, you understand? I'm talking about 30, 40 other artists, you understand? There, there's a lot of hit songs out there by big artists that you hear today that were still produced by that man, you understand? So, no, you're just a error, error, error. From the echo, you and I was just an error. I'm on the street every day trying to sell pills What else you wanna hear? My sister has AIDS I had to rob a lady just to get food today Shake that thing All my people in the north Shake that thing All my people down south Shake that thing All my people in the coast Shake that thing Shake that thing Shake that thing You live on the Bay Chase Shake that thing Shake that thing Shake that thing Shake that thing I got Eclipse on this beat for this beat for collaboration with less attraction. Explosive tracks, nigga, nigga, explosive. Yeah, yeah. One, two, step, chis, chis, dance. Ever doubt that fact I put a hole in your material? We don't hold on to the nigga, got swagger like us. Don't be a player, boss man. If I read myself, then see it. Five, four, dollar, loco, mali, mali, ma. By myself, since DJ's back, I invited some help. Yeah, it's a mighty CIG coming right through with the MPG. It's a mighty CIG, zigzag, 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 zigzag. Especially that guy's brain was just on another level. But I feel like I remember the, the final days. Um, he was actually busy trying to leave the country. You understand? He was this close to leaving and getting a big breakthrough in um, England. I remember. England, USA, that was his two targets, you know. I used to sleep there, basically, so I knew what, what his next move was. Roger was just too hyped up, you understand, and he, and his work ethic was just on another level, you understand. Roger was somebody who would, he knew how to make a hit, let's put it like that. And he was always there, because he knew he was around the right people to make these hits, so I felt like, I feel like Roger probably would have had like 10 other albums by now, and he was, his work ethic was just on another level, man. And, you know, and Eclipse going basically cut all of us short. But, you know, luckily we found other people that are also talented that we can, you know, depend off of a bit. But he, he was just a special case, man. Yellow O used to play TV games with Yellow DJ Mara, a little more famous. And I was thinking, since you single, clear them Ubure. And if you don't understand, clear them Ubure. Hey, hey, you're looking beautiful. The type of girl that will cause mama a funeral. I'm not playing, we graduated from the playground. I see your mom is cool with you, coming late now. We need a date now, catch up and some french fries. Like old times to catch up on what we left behind. Let's rock now, and we gon' rock till the night is gone. And next weekend you gon' call me for the same song Yeah Come on baby just rock whoopin' now It's been a long time Take a rock whoopin' now Hey, hey